I'm Tim Coomer, CEO of Sigma Actuarial Consulting Group. Last week, you received an invitation to participate in our Risk 66 trial subscription. I got a few questions back about exactly how to use the tool. So I wanted to go over three specific usages. Uh, first, the client that has a, is a good sized client, has a large guaranteed cost program, and you're considering a large deductible program. In order to make an analytically based decision, what you want to do is use Risk 66 and specifically the loss forecaster tool inside of Risk 66 to project the losses in the $100,000 layer. So you'll, you'll use historical payroll, let's say it's workers comp, and historical losses and walk through an actuarially sound process that we've got in the tool in order for you to uh, build some analysis that shows the pure loss rate for all the past years. Then you select a pure loss rate and a projected payroll for the coming policy period. Uh, you will have defined that you're looking at a $100,000 loss limit. And then you'll have a good actuarially sound loss projection for that $100,000 layer that they would be basically self-insuring for in this large deductible plan. Now that plus the premium they're paying for the coverage for the deductible program will give you the total cost of risk of that versus the guaranteed cost program. Um, and you can of course build that for other uh, deductible levels using the tool. So that's one way that you can use the tool to address an analytically based decision that you need to make for a client. Second one is doing a collateral requirements. Uh, obviously, that is a, a source of a lot of frustration. Frequently, we get involved on the actuarial side doing consulting studies and helping clients with that all the time. But with Risk 66 and the Loss Forecaster tool, you can do a similar type of analysis to what we do on the actuarial side here for our clients. You can use the Loss Reserving tool within Loss Forecaster and walk through using histor historical data uh, and we include a, a database of loss development factors. So we'll walk you through the process of estimating what the ultimate incurred losses should be for the past years. We will then take out the, uh, the losses that have been paid and the net amount will be the required reserves for the past years. Now, in the end, you get a nice report that shows what the reserve requirements should be for those past years. Uh, the insurance company will have set some requirement that they have which is probably much higher than what our tool has shown should be the uh, necessary reserves. And then you have a report that is uh, analytically sound that you can use to send to the carrier for negotiating purposes. We have about a thousand people around the country right now that use that tool for that purpose and use it effectively. So we know that it is a well-respected tool. Loss Forecaster has been in existence for about 20 years. It's now a web-based version, but it's a well-known tool. Uh, so that will help in that situation. Now, a third way you may want to use the software is to look at confidence intervals. Now, confidence interval analysis, again, is something we typically do on, in our actuarial studies. But in Loss Forecaster, if you're going to project losses for the coming year, that's going to be at the expected level but we provide a confidence interval analysis. So we're looking at a range of possibilities around that expected value. So if you want to, uh, if you're doing this for your own company or you're a producer and you're doing this for uh, a risk manager that you're working with, if you want to book a number at a higher level, like a 90th percentile level, so you want to be certain that at least at 90% of the time, the number is going to be what you book or less then the confidence interval analysis will let you set that amount for the coming policy period, the amount that you're going to book as the liability at the 90th percentile. So confidence intervals uh, is a good analytical way to uh, set the reserves at a level that you have a certain amount of certainty that you're, that's not going to be exceeded. Obviously, CFOs don't like surprises with their financial statements. Uh, so loss forecaster, those are just three quick things that we see frequently as uh, an appropriate and effective use of loss forecaster software, which sits inside of Risk 66. Uh, obviously, there's tons of different ways to use the tool, uh, but I hope those three are just helpful in helping you understand how this might be effective for a potential problem that you've got sitting on your desk right now. Again, I'm Tim Coomer with Sigma Actuarial. You can email me at tlc at sigmaactuary.com or call me directly at 615 376 
5110 extension 203. Be happy to discuss it further with you. And I hope you'll take advantage of this trial subscription, try out the software, and also learn a lot about these analytical techniques uh, in the process. Okay, thanks a lot. <music>